This one. You go to Matthew 22, please. Because yes. we're being bound by these lies. We're not just saying it. We're going in the versions of the Bible that you hold there, showing it to you in there. Matthew 22, verse 29. Read it, please. Matthew 22, verse 29. Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. So we don't know the scriptures, nor the power of God. Right? So now, this scripture, now let's go to Matthew 12. So we have to go into the scriptures to break this spell. If we keep erring, we ain't going to know the power of God. Matthew 12, 29. Now what does that say? 12, 29. Mm -hmm. Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house? And now you teach us that some fat white man is going to come into our house understand? And we're supposed to accept that as black men. Mm. See, that's why our young boys could be in the road twerking. Because something was done to bind the strong man. Mm. You understand? Mm. When we keep celebrating lies, we are binding the strong man. Or how else can one enter? Mm. We ain't have no chimney. <laughs> huh? You done fought. How we getting inside? Huh? How is he entering? To go out or come in to enter of men or animals as into a house or a city of Satan taking possession of the body of a person. Mm. Oh, to possess. That's how they enter in. They ain't coming in through the chimney. They coming in through us. They possessing us with lies. You understand? They possessing us with lies of enter into a strong man. It's Skyros. What does it mean by strong? Strong, mighty, of living things, strong either in body or mind. Not just physical strength, but mental strength. How do you break down the mind? You have to give it fairy tales first. Fairy tales create the environment for a lie to be accepted. You understand? Why would you tell a five-year-old that Santa Claus is not real? <laughs> because he's not. He ain't real. Tell the child the truth. Yeah. Huh? A strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind G1210. Let's talk about how we're being bound. The word is deal, to bind, tie, fasten, which is the same definition they have for religion. Mm -hmm. Why is that important? Because if you go to Google and you put in the word deal, the word deal, you'll put it up on the screen, D-E-O. God. Yep. They're binding us with their God. Mm -hmm. So the fairy tales set you up for God to come and bind you. I'm not saying the most I have only one and they the I am. I'm saying the Greco Roman God is binding the strong man. Yes. Where when we stand up and say what should should be done, we're called homophobic, we're called hate. This hate that we, we we're not even allowed to be men. You can't even stand up in your own house, in your own country, and say that's foolishness. You understand? And the reason why that's happening because the lies that we keep perpetuating over the Christmas tree, the jingle bells, the the Rudolph the Red Nose. You understand? You understand? So we can talk about this tree. I, I can stop now. This I, I, the spirit, the spirit, I'm taking over. You know what I mean? The, the spirit of truth. With that, we're gonna say Amun. Amun. And the master. The master.